see what Chastain can do. Car wrapped around the middle of the corner really good. You can see the time coming back. Gaining down the back stretch. Looks really good. Good hand. Really good in three and four. And great lap once again for Ross Chastain. 29.79. So Chastain faster than what he ran in round one by about a hundredth of a second. Oh, oh. a big moment. He's oh. going to spin all the way into the wall. Backs it into the wall and four before he had even taken the green. All right, guys. Still free. And a fire. On the driver's side as he's trying to refire it. Rick, and this team celebrating almost like it was a race win. I can see the emotion in your face, Ross. First career pole in the Cup Series for you. The first for Trackhouse. What does this mean for the organization and for tomorrow's race? Oh, it's it's so much bigger than just one race or or just getting you know first pit stall and and everything for Nashville and where Trackhouse was born and, and started out of out of Broadway with Pit Season and Justin and everybody. Um, it was just so much personally so much agony in qualifying my entire life. I've never tied together laps like the car was capable of. I've always left the time out there just to to back up my time from round one to round two was the goal and. Like, I just, I, like, so much, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but so much, like, personal frustration with myself over the years and then going to work for over a decade now in the sport to try to qualify better, um, it just hasn't shown results, Kim. And for our Worldwide Express team, it's all about results and shipping things faster than everybody else and better. So it's uh, awesome for the team. Um, he gained no tours, his up, uh, super, super slick down there, but... Uh, personally, just a lot of a lot of uh, personal validation that, that the things we're doing. All right. I think a confident Hi, Ross Chastain is very dangerous, and this team I don't think has been as good as last year. I think they've been off a little bit on pace, but this run shows them they can do it. Last push coming from this 19 car. Has he got anything left? Three laps to go. He made up about three tenths of a second. I noticed he's just a little bit quicker, and he's really driving this car deep into the corners. Can he get to the throttle right here off of two? We're in that the tires are wearing away on him. If he has a chance, it's going to have to happen here real soon. Coming up on two laps to go. He's found a little something right there in that middle of three and four. Just not enough. Two more times around. Ross Chastain making it an historic weekend for Trackhouse Racing. They gained their first pull yesterday. It was his first pull in the Cup Series. Trying to close it out. He's led the most laps today at 97. And adding to that, Mark Trex Jr. trying to keep the momentum up. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. White flag. Hit your mark. Justin Marks and Pitbull put this team together. A year ago, both teams were able to win, both cars, with Daniel Suarez and Ross Chastain. And as you mentioned, made a run for the championship, was in that final four pairing. Now he's going to have another shot at it. A win here at Nashville for Ross Chastain puts him in the playoffs. On top of the watermelon smash, it's a hometown Nashville win for Trackhouse Racing. Who likes to claim Music City as their hometown? Boy, Ross Chastain, what an impressive performance by you and your group. And have a little water. Go ahead. After a rough month and a half for you and the one team, how's a win for a little medicine? Only thing sweeter, Marty, is this Georgia watermelon. I got to tell you, this is incredible. Um, this is why every little kid out there, anywhere in the world, when you get criticized and you're going to, if you're competitive, they will try to tear you down. 
you will start believing them. You can't do it. You have to go to your people, trust in the process, read your books, trust the, the big man's plan upstairs, and just keep getting up and going to work. I got to tell you, a lot of uh, a lot of self-reflection through all of this, but I had a group that believed in me, and they didn't let me get down. And they bring rocket ships, and I just try to point them to victory lane. So you mentioned the criticism. How did you put it behind you, Ross? Trust in my people, uh, my family back home, the agriculture industry, they're always there for me. And then everybody at track house that Justin Marks puts in place with Phil Surgeon and our group on the 1 and 99. Uh, to win in Nashville is actually absolutely incredible. And then uh, the, the WISE program and everybody at GM, Chevrolet, um, you know, it's uh, – we train. I train with so many of my competitors, and uh, but it makes us better. And I'm um, up against the best out here. So for everybody at Worldwide Express Racing, and sweep the weekend with Carson Host of our Nice Motorsports. Uh, get the pole. We won everything we could have with, with Wex Racing, and for Advent Health Jockey, the Moose, and uh, it's uh, it's it's absolutely incredible um, the fight that we have. I love the emotion in the burnout, and you said in the middle of it, this is so much fun. Is that born out of relief, or where did that come from? That's just a desire to win. I got to tell you, Marty, it's um, it's just so hard at this level, and and it's it's the best of the best, and it's where I've wanted to be since I was 18 years old, and from from studying for over 10 10 years to just to qualify better, let alone go race for a Cup race win. Um, you know, along the way, the journey. I'm so so happy that the MMI group's here, and uh, and everybody that that supports me. Um, yeah, look, it's a cup win. I don't care what happened the last month, the last, my rest of my life. It's a freaking cup win! There you go, Ross Chastain started the weekend with his first career pole. He ends it with his first win of 2023, and now he's in the playoffs, Rick. And he's going to keep taking care of that water belt.